Jesus. It was so much money. It was so much money. Oh my God. But I have the quant steel, yep. I still, I still have the quant steel. At least I have that. Good evening, New York, and welcome to the Gateway Live. I'm your host, Robert Banks. Today, we're looking back at the still recent stock market disaster. The event that shook the world, billions lost, and the faith in the very institution of the stock market shaken. And wouldn't you believe it, the police still don't have a single suspect. The seemingly untouchable payday gang now exposed on the Gateway Report are still at large, still free to ply their wicked trade all across the city. While the stock market is slowly recovering, thousands have lost their jobs, companies have gone under, and millions of private investors, like myself, have lost a lot. If not for my deal with Quan. It's that Stefan. Hey, Stefan. I read your little article, Stefan. <laughs> That's a lot of fun, Stefan. I have an article for you. Stefan needs to find a new fucking job. Stefan, meet me outside later. I'll find you, Stefan. Uh, which is why uh, urine consumption is on the rise. The market crash, however, didn't leave everyone broken. As in some situations, there were winners. Gateway financial users like Little Scrunkle, Reptilian Vladios, Stimek, Banner User, and Garlic 1105. Are these real people? All made off, well, like heisters. Whether or not these people were part of the crime orchestrated by the clown masked terrorists called the Payday Gang remains to be seen. Another record breaking number of viewers tuned in to the controversial New York based TV drama In Love or Incest. Despite the many lawsuits, experts are saying that they believe the concept itself is legal, leading people to incest. People keep tuning in to see the contestants trying to find love while avoiding sexual encounters with potential siblings? Is this, is this a real show? That's insane. That's, that's fucked up. That's crazy. The production just started on the third film in the popular Gator Cop franchise. Cold Blood Studios just settled their lawsuits after Nico the Gator killed and ate seven interns between the two films. Famously, the studio quoted saying, that's what interns are for, claiming they shouldn't have agreed to the contracts if they weren't prepared to get eaten. And now, finally, after two years of litigation and multiple strikes, shooting on the third film has begun. And I know that I am looking forward to watching this movie in the theaters. We could use a fucking Gator Cop, the way this city is going. Where's Stefan? Where's Stefan? <sighs> so much money.